Hi and welcome back to another Stampin' on Friday episode. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Um, instead of showing you a tutorial on how I put a card together, I'm actually going to show you a tutorial on how I made this card that holds um, money. And it has a little pocket on the inside. It actually is a standard, uh, or not a standard, but a legal size card that fits into a legal size envelope. So I have a little coordinating envelope here. And it measures 9 inches by 4 inches. And I'll go over the stuff that I used to create this card. My sentiment on the outside here and on the inside comes from the 2011 Birthday Tags uh, Paper Tray Ink Stamp Set. Then I used a Martha Stewart um, 3 Butterfly Punch and then added just some little pearls in the middle. I took some Paper Tray Ink Satin Ribbon and made a bow out of that. And this is a technique I learned from Jennifer McGuire and also added a little paper tray ink twine and some vintage cream um, button for the center. And then my pattern paper here is from a October Afternoon Farmhouse Collection. And what I did was is I took my Fisker Scallop Punch, um, that would be, be this one right here, and created two pieces that had a um, scallop on the top, scallop on the bottom, and then took a piece of the striped paper and put it in the middle did a little sewing right across that top scallop and the bottom scallop and then did some zigzag sew sewing and it probably might be a little difficult for you to see in the video on the two edges of the, the gray stripes. And on the inside, which is where my little pocket is, and that's what I'm going to show you how to, how to make, um, I took a, again the same pattern paper from the front and did a little scallop border here kind of measured my pocket area and cut my vintage creams cardstock a quarter of an inch smaller did my sentiment um, right in the center and then added the same pattern paper from the front right down at the bottom so this little pocket right here will hold um, will hold money I was asked to make a card for somebody that is going to be celebrating their 80, um, 80th birthday and they wanted to be able to give the person some money for their birthday and um, that's how I created it and they wanted it to be that they could just put the slide the money and lay it in flat so this is what I came up with and I wanted today to show you how I made the um, card base so you're going to need a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and I'm just using this red piece just so it's easier for you to see and I'm going to cut this down to 9 inches by 12 inches so I'm going to use my paper trimmer here Cut this down to nine inches, and then take my Martha Stewart scoreboard here, and somewhere I have my little stylus. Here it is, and I'm going to go ahead and score my card stack at four inches and eight inches. So at four inches, which I think you have a little bit of a glare, but four inches. and 8 inches. Just set that aside. And then what I do is I'm going to just fold my one side in. Now because this is 12 inches and I didn't really leave um, a lot of room for the fold so this will kind of buckle up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just trim a very small piece off on the side here. And it's just a very small piece. It doesn't have to be it's even just less than a quarter of an inch. actually a little less than even, probably about an eighth of an inch you want to trim off. It's just going to help your pocket lay flatter and it won't buckle when you fold it. Okay, so that was that. The next thing I want to do is making sure I'm using my flap that's on the inside. Um, I take my ruler and I measure it down about two inches and then take my pencil and mark my two inch mark on this side and that's the side with the fold and then I come over to this side which is the side that folds in and mark that at about three and a half inches so this is where I'm going to make my cut it's going to go from here to here and that's going to fold for my little pocket area so I'm going to take my paper trimmer And usually what I do is I do fold my outside flap in so that it's not in my way. And before I actually use my paper trimmer, I'm going to actually take my scissors and cut on that 
score line right down to my pencil mark. So that's right to my pencil mark. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my cutting. And the one thing I like about this Fiskars uh, trimmer is that it has this little wire in the middle so you can kind of see where you're going to cut. So I'm going to line up my pencil mark here and my pencil mark in the middle. Bring my blade down and I'm going to cut, try to cut as close as I can to that score line without going over. So I'm very close. I'm just going to take my scissors and trim it the rest of the way. So there we go. That's what forms my little pocket. And then what I do is I take some adhesive. I'm going to use my ATG gun. It's awfully humid right now, so I think probably score tape or something like that would be better. And But it's just because it's really humid here. And I'm going to take my dollar bill, put it right about here, and then add my adhesive because I want it to come up a little higher so my bill doesn't slip all the way down inside the pocket where you don't see it. So I put probably about a half an inch, maybe even an inch of tape on the bottom. And then you would actually put, if you're doing your scallop, you'd put that in before you close up your pocket. And we'll just close that up. And that is how I formed my little pocket that would hold my little monetary gift and in the inside of my card. So that was my Stampin' on Friday episode for today, little tutorial. You can find all the supplies that I used to make my um, original card listed over on my blog. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.